Hello everybody and welcome to my review for the film Everything Everything. So Everything Everything came out in the summer of 2017 and stars Amanda Stenberg and Nick Robinson. Um, and this is a film about a girl who because of an illness isn't able to ever leave her house until she meets Nick Robinson's character and she begins to feel like there might be something more just beyond the confines of her house. <sighs> this movie guys is horrible. And I hate to say it because I'm such a big proponent of the young adult film genre. I mean, with movies like The Hunger Games and Before I Fall and so many other great, you know, even um, other movies that I haven't seen yet, you know, like Fall in Our Stars and Juno. I mean, there's so many great young adult uh, films that have been made in the past that I'm, I'm a big proponent for young adult films and young adult film uh, makers who are making those kind of films. Because I think that there's a lot of things that still need to be done in that genre. And I think that, um, you know, we've had great films. And I hope to see more great films in that genre. And I realized that young adult films have just been getting worse and worse. And it's movies like this that are really a testament to why. The filmmakers don't care. And they have no respect for the audience. I mean, this movie is just your standard run-of-the-mill teen romance film sappy, saccharine, melodramatic, overdramatic. The filmmakers don't even try to put any authentic emotion into this. Um, and, and sometimes I get the excuse, you know, it's because of the material from which it's coming. You know, it's just young adult novels. Um, there's not a lot of emotion to begin with. And then I point them to a film like Before I Fall, which was directed by Rai Russell Young. From, and from what I've heard, the book was not that great or was just okay. And then the film was really, really good, and a lot of people liked it, and I particularly really liked that film. So it hurts me to see films like Everything, Everything, where every character is so one-dimensional, and there's no emotional depth, especially the situation where you could work in a lot of emotional depth, because this situation that this girl is in, she's completely cut off from the rest of the world. And there's nothing. This movie is so hollow, so empty, completely devoid of any emotion whatsoever. Its characters are so single-minded and one-dimensional. I mean, how is that even possible? You're literally making a movie about teenagers and they're so one-dimensional. It, it blows my mind. And it just was such a boring movie to watch. I didn't care about the characters. I really didn't. The screenplay sucks. The script stinks. There's nothing good about this movie. And I hate to be the one to, you know, tell another filmmaker and, you know, degrade, like, you know, criticize their work so heavily. But I really think that there was more effort that could have been put into this film. And it just wasn't there at all for me. Um, and I really wish that there was a little bit more effort put into this movie. And, you know, when you talk about the screenplay, especially of this film, most of the plot is pushed into the third act. And there's a plot twist towards the end of the movie. And by the time the plot just came, I just didn't care anymore. I was like, why is this movie not over? Why is everything happening in the third act? Why did you waste my time in the first and second act that I now have to sit through this third act where you're telling me about all the stuff that's going to happen in this movie? And it was just such a, such a bore for me. And I really did not care about this movie at all. Um, the one saving grace is the two main leads. I think they're very charismatic. I think that they gave charming performances. Their chemistry was quite good too. I think Nick Robinson and Amanda Stenberg work uh, well off of each other. And I think they're both good actors and they're right. Um, and I think they're above this material, honestly, because they're both very good actors. And this movie had nothing to offer at all for its audience, for the people involved. Um, and again, I will say that it's, it's, it's just the fact that a lot of people, a lot of filmmakers, don't treat the young adult genre as seriously as I think they should. Because um, I think that this is a genre that, you know, when you're making a film about teenagers, even if it is just for teenagers, I think there's a lot to explore. And it's movies like Everything Everything that take, the, take basically that depth out, um, out of this genre's canon basically they, they, they just completely ruin the genre for everyone uh, else involved who has made a good film in this genre and I there's nothing really for me else to say about everything everything it's really boring um, as I said it's very overdramatic and melodramatic the script and screenplay really don't work 
everything's just very, very flat until the third act where they try and push and cram in all the stuff towards the end. Um, and even then, it is still pretty sucky. I mean, there's nothing really happening in terms of emotion or even plot that I cared about. I didn't care about these characters. I never formed a connection. I, as I said, there was some good chemistry between the two leads, um, but that's not enough to save this film. Um, I mean, if you're going to watch it, I'd watch it just for that, for the two main leads. I think they did a fine job. They work well off of each other. And other than that, God, there's nothing in this movie. And, and it breaks my heart to say that because I really believe in the power of the young adult genre. And I've seen better films. I've seen better young adult films. And this just isn't one of those films. Don't waste your time. I mean, there's much better young adult films. As I said before, Ride So Young's uh, Before I Fall. It's a particularly a good high school kind of teen film, but everything, everything is everything but good, guys. It's It, it was terrible. I'll give it a D minus. Um, I would give it an F, but as I said before many times, you know, the two main leads gave okay, fine work. I think, I think they're the saving grace, as I said. They have good chemistry. They're charismatic and all that. Um, there's nothing else in this movie. There's nothing else for me to say. Um, so... Just skip this one, guys. I mean, there's there's nothing here to really see. Um, and keep supporting the young adult film genre, though. I think especially the good filmmakers in that genre, because I really believe there's a lot of scope in this genre. So yeah, guys, um, that's all I got for this review. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all those great things. And I'll see you guys in the next review.